Okay, we're here at Denny Wiggers Gardens in Paramus once again, and it's the time of the year when we start making our grave blankets. What is a blanket? What is a grave blanket? It's a plethora of greens that we put in a, uh, a styrofoam, uh, and we, we stick greens in. This particular blanket has some blue spruce, southern magnolia, and different types of greens in here. Where do the greens come from? We trim them down from our jobs and our tree jobs that we do during the season. This came from a job over in Harrington Park where uh, we had to trim up a Southern Magnolia and you can see it really adds some character to this blanket. These blankets are, are made up here in the greenhouse with our crew and then we take them down to the cemetery, uh, decorated, which we'll do in a few moments, and we place them on the grave sites for the family to enjoy. You could see this is not just a typical gray blanket. It's it's fluffed up. It it you know the, the the branches are coming up so the leaves don't get caught in here and the snow doesn't push it down and it really makes a nice display for the family to come out to the local cemetery. Here we use George Washington uh, cemetery and, and it makes a nice arrangement, a nice plethora of greens that can really make your blanket look good. So Let's walk over here. I want to show you where the greens come from and, and how we decorate this blanket. Over here I have my pile of greens that I've been accumulating for the past month or so. And these all, all these branches came from jobs that we were working on. This came from a balsam fir tree. These are Norway spruces. Right here I have some Colorado spruce. Normally these trees would be cut down and gone through a chipper, put through a chipper. What we try to do is we recycle everything. We're, we're taking greens that would normally be chopped up and go to a landfill. We're taking them and we're using them to the environment's benefit. We're using them back into the, uh, to the blankets. Uh, over here I have some um, Blue Atlas Cedar, which really can add some character to a blanket. This is the Southern Magnolia that I just told you about, really adds some great character. Normally these would be thrown out, thrown into the garbage or, or gone to the landfill. We're taking them and we're using them to the environment's benefit. We're here in the workshop. This is my worker Francisco, he's been doing this for many, many years. And what he's doing is he's taking those greens that we just had and we're putting them into the blankets. He's trimming them and he's filling them into the foam. Uh, Luis over here is a little, not quite as far along, and you can see he's just filling in the foam here with these different greens. And, and this is how we build our gray blankets. We start out with a piece of foam, we use the clippings from our jobs, and we, we put them into the blankets. And then what we'll do in a few moments, we'll decorate one and it'll be ready for resale and brought down to the local cemetery. We've gone through the whole process. We've gotten the greens here, we've made our blankets, now we're ready to decorate the blanket. What I'm going to do is use some very natural items that I've clipped through the, you know, through the summer from the garden. This is a hydrangea branch, came off a hydrangea tree. What I'm going to do is dip it into that glue I just showed you a few moments ago, and we're going to stick it into the blanket. Right here I have some berries that I had clipped from a berry tree. I'm going to put a little glue in there that's going to hold that branch in there and really make, you know, give this blanket some very nice character. Here again, we're recycling everything from the garden, from the greens to the decorations. And then at the end, we take these blankets and we run them through a tub grinder. We grind up the greens and then make mulch, which I'll show you in a few moments. These berries are a little, little soft. They, you know, they're a little fragile. Got to be a little careful here. The hydrangeas are very nice. They're a little fragile also. This is not your typical gray blanket. It's a very natural, rustic looking blanket. I'm going to put a couple of nice little ornaments on here, give a little, little you know, character. This glue is regular glue, and what it does is that we dip it into the pan, 
that we heat it up on top of the stove and we, we gradually put it into the blanket and that glue will grab onto one of the branches. Nice family project also. For those of you from outside the area, we have an online catalog where you can purchase these gray blankets. We have about 15 different items. We have wreaths, we have blankets, we have sprays, big ones, small ones. We could even custom make a blanket and we ship UPS in all 50 states. We have customers in California, down in Kentucky, Florida, and the people like these blankets because they're, they're unique, they're full. Uh, but it's also something that you and your family could do. Lay your blanket down and use a stake in order to keep that blanket adhered to the ground so it doesn't blow away in a windstorm. What I did is I took this metal rod, bent it in half, and we're going to stick it into the blanket, into the fold, and push it you know, lightly into the ground, and that'll keep the blanket stuck to the ground so during a windstorm it doesn't blow away.